Um, all right. So great, great call today that we have for you. We have, I want to introduce her. She is a certified personal trainer. She is Beachbody's newest super trainer, and she is the creator of Job One. Everybody, welcome her in and tag your coaches to get on Facebook. It's Jennifer Jacobs. Thank you so much, Sandy. <laughs> what an honor. Jen? JJ, I can't call you. I go by We're my friends name. now. Jennifer, I met you Jenny, last JJ. week. So as you like, Sandy. Perfect. I want this. I want this uh, to be an opportunity for our coaches who have never heard of you or don't know anything about you to get a little sense of who you are, how you work, what your style is. So uh, before you get into a little bit of the program, I have a list of questions. You and I kind of went through them, uh, but just off the cuff, um, you had a very unique childhood right? And it exposed you to hard work, um, striving for what you want, um, and an appreciation for your parents. I'd like you to talk about how your upbringing shaped your character today. Thank you. Um, definitely a small town girl born and raised in Northern California in a small town outside of Sacramento on a dairy farm. I grew up on my grandparents' dairy. They had immigrated from Holland. My father worked on this farm. We both lived in a mobile home with my mother as well until my parents divorced when I was four years old. So then I spent half of my time on the dairy, half the time in a town nearby, split custody. And what I saw from both parents was hard work as single parents, especially my father who worked the dairy. That's a full-time job. That's not a nine to five, that's sunrise to sunset. So watching him do everything he possibly needed to do to make that farm run just instilled immediately in me hard work. I also had obligations, chores, from feeding baby cows to helping feed hay to the, to the mama cows, for example. I learned a lot on that farm. I learned a lot also from my mother being a single parent working for the state of California. Dairy life is not an easy life. And it taught me a lot about being humble and also working hard for whatever it is that you want. Things aren't given. They are earned, especially if you want them for yourself, meaning someone can just easily give you something. I typically don't trust that. I want to have to work for it so I know that I earned it. So it's mine for keeps. So that's how I was brought up. I was also a very active child as well, as you can imagine, just from being on a dairy. But also my grandmother from Holland, she would take me cycling, riding since I was four years old. And as I got older, we would ride even longer. I mean, hours going around all the neighboring farms. So at that moment, my passion for cycling happened. Then at around 16 years old, actually not around, um, on my 16th birthday, I found out that my father was diagnosed with terminal cancer and had six months to live. So I did my best to care for him every day after school, watching the strongest person you've ever, ever seen completely become the weakest version of themselves made me instinctively want to help people. And I thought to help people would be to become a doctor, perhaps even an oncologist. So that's a little bit about my childhood and my upbringing and one major turning point in my life. You know, it's so interesting when you are in it as a child, when you are growing up, you don't really know what it, what it's shaping you for until you have a look back, you know, as you get older. So I, I want to thank you for sharing that. I know your humble upbringing or your your start to your life has shaped you. And um, now you spent time living in another country, right? You went to France. If you can talk a little bit about that's how you speak the language. Um, yes. Is that where your fitness um, love and your fitness, your, your work as a fitness instructor, is that really where it took off? What took off in terms of fitness happened in college. So I went to the University of California, Irvine. I was pre-med. And in my second year of college, I joined a local gym in Fashion Island, if anyone's familiar with Orange County. And at this gym, I started personal training, meaning I had a personal trainer who took me on. And that opened my eyes up to the world of fitness. And I was then became a personal trainer for myself, not only to help pay my way through school, but a way to instantly help people. At 19 years old, I was quickly successful at this. I built my own business. 
And I was able to pay my whole way through school because of this personal training business. But more than that is what I got from it. It was the satisfaction from helping people live healthier, happier versions of themselves through just this time we spent together, but over time as well. So that's where my passion for fitness happened. And when I graduated college that summer, I went to France, sort of a celebration. And that's where I fell in love with a Frenchman. And it wasn't just any Frenchman. It happened to be a famous French actor. So my whole life changed from this small town girl to now covers of magazines to red carpets. It was a fairy tale, so to speak. And that's where I learned French. I had to learn French. In fact, I had to be able to buy a baguette and conversate. Yes, you got to learn how to ask for a baguette. Um, all right. So merci beaucoup. I'm sure our French uh, speaking coaches are very, very excited uh, that you speak French and that the program is also in French. Now, you are incredible on camera. Let me just say that you seem everything, you make everything feel so effortless. You have this incredible connection to people um, over the camera and you you have this real, your, your connection to the audience is very real. Now you were training virtually, or I guess a streaming over Skype long before the pandemic. Can you talk about how that worked and how you became so skilled in just reaching out through that camera? So I spent 10 years living in France and over the course of that period of time, I had a lot of time on my hands as well as a single parent. I mean, I wasn't, let, let's go back. 10 years in France, I also still stayed in contact with my clients prior. And one of these clients happened to invite me to their home to live with them for eight weeks to help transform them after having two kids. So everything from nutrition to fitness, even mindset, help them lead healthier, happier lives. But one idea came from that was let's Skype each other. Like in 2007, before virtual training was a thing. So I started online training, one client turned into two, turned into 12 over time. So successfully carrying on a business in my garage in France, training people overseas. That's how online training happened. So I developed an ease, I would say, in terms of connecting to people one-on-one -on -one, virtually, which is what I try to do even with something like job one. I try to speak to you in terms of how I'm gonna drive better results is to connect and make those connections even stronger. I'm here. I am uh, going through a little bit of computer problems, so I hope I didn't jinx myself, but um, okay. thank you very much for that. So um, when did you realize that you were an effective trainer? I know that you and I talked about how helping people is so important, helping people achieve their goals. And that is our mission statement, which you align so well with. But you do something that not very many people do, and that that is get results with people. Um, so in your learnings and in, in, you, in you becoming a personal trainer, when did you know that what you were doing was working? You were becoming an effective trainer. It happened early on, back when I was 19 years old, working with clients, say they had a specific goal. One of my clients had a goal to run a half marathon. So what I did was I then trained alongside of them to help motivate them even further. So I would run alongside of them, for example. I knew at that point, to get results, you have to take on whoever your client is, their goal being now your goal. That's how I feel you can create the best results possible because if your goal is my goal, I'm highly motivated for you to achieve that goal. So I'm gonna be a stronger source of support for you. It all comes down to that, being supported throughout your goals. You can have the program, but if you don't have the support, then it's not gonna work. And that's just one thing I absolutely love about Beachbody, about the coaches, because that's what you do. Not only do you help people stay accountable, but you also offer them that support that they need. Awesome. You know what? The accountability and the support is exactly what we talk about. Now, you've always been very driven. I mean, like I've known you a week now and it seems like you've always been like laser focused in your career. Um, you've been an entrepreneur 
in your per, in your professional life so you understand the hard work and determination when has your confidence ever been shaken and what did you do about it i would say that back in france um, specifically there was a time in my life after i had my two children that my confidence was shaken because of the person i was with and the lack of confidence they had in myself which created a great deal of self-doubt i doubted myself so much so that i thought even my online personal training business was worthless wasn't worth doing but it was actually the support of just one person who kept saying to me no you're on to something i believe in you and that little bit of support helped erase some of that self-doubt that i was suffering from and i thought to myself what would life be if i had no courage to attempt anything it'd be a life not worth living so i made that decision in france to leave france head to new york to pursue my dreams that takes a lot of courage and i'm sure that you look back at that time and just go how did i do that but you gave you that step up to do anything that requires a lot of bravery and courage. So thank you for sharing that moment. Um, now, your evolution as a trainer um, and your training style, bring us now to this creation, you joining the Beachbody team and this creation of job one. Um, talk about how that evolution has brought you to this moment. When, you, when I started training, I worked for a gym for about six months before I went independent and created my own business. So that was back when I was 19 years old. And the standard, the gold standard for personal training was one hour. You had one hour with your personal trainer. So you had to fill that hour up. Over time, once I had my own business, my own clients, and I understood a lot of their struggles and a lot of their maybe perhaps issues in terms of achieving their goals, a lot of it came down to time. A lot of people don't have a lot of time to dedicate to their health and fitness, especially this fitness aspect, because once you can dial in the fitness, the choices you'll make outside of that will improve because you've already put in that hard work. So over time, I realized it's not going to actually take an hour to get the job done. I can train less, yet gain more, whether the results be weight loss, muscle tone, endurance, strength gains, performance enhancement, all those things can happen if the training session is with a purpose. If there's purpose to the session and if each move is intentional, you're going to see results in less time. So over time, I started to come up with that theory of train less, gain more, which has brought us here today to job one, 20 minutes a day, five days a week. That is great. Thank you very much for that. And I'm, I also know that you are focused on making yourself a priority, right? And so people focus on getting that job done, but making yourself a priority. And I know that when I work out, I think of everybody else besides me, you know, like I have kids and all the things that I have to do. And so it's like a reminder that it's me that comes first. So I appreciate you saying that. Um, so talk about job one, how passionate you are about it and the 20 minute thing. I know that last week I had Amwala on and he's got the longer workouts and everything has its purpose. And this, you figured out that the 20 minutes was gonna get the job done. So can you talk about this program a little bit more in depth and the 20 minutes that you uh, carved out for that? Yes. So it's all about, it's, it's more that it's not another fitness program, job one. So job one is not another fitness program. It's truly a lifestyle where you prioritize yourself. Now that might feel a little selfish, especially for parents, especially for people who maybe operate a business or work for somebody else. 20 minutes is not selfish. That's something that is feasible. But if you ask for more time, then we start to run into all those roadblocks of time constraints. A program like 645 is phenomenal, especially if you can make the commitment six days a week, 45 minutes a day, but most people can't commit. So I've created job one, the ability to prioritize yourself, no excuses. We can all make 20 minutes happen, especially if we have the desire to better ourselves. It's not just a program, but also a mindset, 
a shift in your mental state here of how you perceive your health and your fitness, that this is your job one. Make yourself job one and everything else around you will improve. Now, can you talk about the, um, now the program is going to be in English and in French, right? And is Spanish coming later? Yes. So this is a Beachbody First, a bilingual program in both English and in French. It's not dubbed in French. The program will be dubbed in Spanish as well. So that's already have, that, that will be done at the release as well. That's fantastic news. And equipment. Equipment, minimal equipment, light, medium, heavy dumbbells, and a set of resistance loops. Awesome. Um, okay, so testimonials. Talk about what people are talking about and how you, um, what's been coming back about the program that you created. There's so many testimonials, uh, long just from the test group, the original test group that helped me create job one. Their testimonials are more than the visuals that you're seeing, the 50, 60 pound weight loss, but it's more about how they feel, how they now perceive themselves. These are people, these are real people, not coaches. Now, the success starter test group with the coaches, you can see their results as well. Just in 14 days, what they're able to achieve in terms of how their body looks and how, more importantly, they feel. I don't want this job one to be a program where it's all about the looks. It's all about the aesthetic. It's about how you feel. And when you delve into job one and you start and you press play, you will realize that for yourself, that it is more than just a program. This is a way to sharpen up every single tool that you have to unleash your best self. So you're a mom, right? And um, your kids have had a front row seat to, to your success, your achievements, and they've been guided by your own principles. Can you talk a little bit about what advice um, you tell your kids um, and, and, and just something like the principles that you live by. I just want to get a little sense of, you know, how you are as a mom. You're, you're absolutely correct. My two children, both 13 and nine, have a front row seat into what I'm creating for myself, but most importantly for them and what I'm able to teach them. The most important thing is to always reach high. And so I say this, and I've said it for years, the sky is not the limit. It's just the view. I want my children, I want anyone that I train to reach even higher than they thought possible. And once they hit that peak, that serves as a new vantage point to see themselves more clearly, to climb even higher. So if that's one takeaway from, from this conversation, I hope to inspire people to reach for more, to want more. It's not selfish to do that, to want to better yourself. I love that. I love it. Um, there's an exclusive trainer group that Keyshawn mentioned earlier. I want to say it again in case anyone missed it. So you have a group starting January 3rd. That's a big deal. How, how do you feel about top of the year trainer led group? Uh, talk about what that's going to be like. This is an opportunity for me to have a hands-on approach with a huge group, but that's who I am. I like to have connections with people. So this enables me to do so through bod groups, which I'm so fascinated by this platform to begin with, that it's all inclusive in an app. You don't have to go somewhere else. You don't have to go on Facebook. You don't have to go on Instagram. Everything is in the Beachbody app. So I plan to be incredibly hands-on and offer some exciting features and exclusives through that month with that bond group. Um, and just to let everybody know that the requirement is you uh, must purchase the job one um, VIP early access and sell a job one total solution challenge pack to a customer and you have until December 28th to qualify. So that is fantastic news. And then I I'm going to go back and talk. Oh, go ahead. Okay. I think that's the most important. Part. No, 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 The most important part is not selling the total solutions pack to somebody else, a customer, but it's the fact that you shared it with somebody else because truly job yeah. one is a dream achieved for myself. I always fantasized about having fitness DVDs that would help touch people's lives. My mother used to work out in our living room with the share step. Remember that share step? 
and Cindy Crawford yeah. with the chair, kicking the leg back. So I watched my mother do this, prioritize herself as a single parent. And now I get to offer this in a digital format. So what would make the me the most happy was that you actually share it with someone else because that's how we're going to reach the masses. That's how the dream comes to life. Well, you're reaching a lot of people and you're going to be, your, your reach is so much further with digital than with the CDs. Yes. So that's very exciting. Um, so the uh, Job One Beachbody Bike promotion is that now the bike is completely optional for this program, right? Yes. Okay. So this is not a cycling program. I feel like just because of my cycling expertise, it might be perceived there is. But this is actually an incredible opportunity for our coaches because there will be four optional cycling rides, again, optional, that you can swap in and out for the cardio days, which there are two on, in within the week of job one. Those are body weight cardio. So again, if you want to swap it in and out for a lower impact or something different to create a little bit of variety, especially if you do multiple rounds of job one, which is the intention mm -hmm. behind the design, you can use the cycling workouts that are formatted specifically to achieve job one results. Now, this is the incredible opportunity for coaches is that these four rides will live on BOD. There are only four rides that will live on BOD, which will help you and your customers then go over to body if you'd like more, which I'm sure you will. I'm very confident in these rides. Look at you. You you talk like you've been at Beachbody for years. You know this rhythm already. Like you're so effortless in the way that you figure out how to get people results, how to get people interested, motivated, and how, how these coaches are going to share this. They're going to talk about it. So I appreciate that so much. One more thing about the bike promotion is that um, there is a... Uh, a branded Beachbody bike, right? Job one branded Beachbody bike, and only four of those will be available. It is stunning. The <laughs> job one branded Beachbody mixed bike. It is stunning. It is something that's you definitely cool. want to have in your living room if that's the place where you keep your bike. So, this is something you're going to want to put your name in the hat for. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is excellent. I'm very, very excited. This is a huge week. I'm so happy that we're not launching a program on a Monday. You know, we have a few more days to just figure it all out. And Thursday is a very big day for you. Um, it's exciting to meet you, to understand um, how you have become the trainer that you are. Your style is just, you know, unsurpassed. And I enjoy watching you and working out with you. And I congratulate you on the success, the early success of job one. Thank you. I appreciate it, Sandy. And I'm excited to get the job done with all of you. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right. Thank you so much. Um, we are done with the wake up call. Thanks, everybody, for joining us this morning. And let's get the job done this week. We have a huge, huge week. So we'll see you here next week. Bye-bye.